In our morning rounds, the brand new world of health breakthroughs in medicine are reaching a tipping point. That's what Dr. David Agus says in his new book. It's called The Lucky Years. It's out this morning. He argues that cutting edge science and technology will enable us to edit DNA, to fight disease, to reverse aging, to prolong fertility, and turn cancer into a manageable condition. What? Mm. The book is published by Simon & Schuster. That's a division of CBS. And Dr. Agus leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California. But lucky for us, he's in the studio live and in color today. Always good to see you. Good morning, Gail. I love the title of the book, The Lucky Years, because The Lucky Years, you say, has nothing to do with wealth or social status. Yeah. We can all be, we're all part of the lucky years because... Listen, this revolution that's happening now, and it literally is. I mean, I'm with you guys once or twice a week with a breakthrough happening all the time. And these are breakthroughs that are going to change the playing field. And it equalizes the playing field. We now can do things like approaching reversing aging. We can prevent disease. We can treat disease like never before. This is an amazing time in what I do. Mm -hmm. Let's start with reversing aging. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As birthday boy. Yes. 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 <laughs> How can we reverse aging? Well, it's an amazing story. The 1950s, Wanda Lunsford published the only paper she published in science. She was actually kicked out. She took an old rat and a young rat, and she put them to sleep and tied their skin together. So after a day or so, their blood supplies joined. And three weeks later, they looked, and the old mouse had new neurons growing in the brain. The muscles were stronger, and the heart beat better. She claimed she reversed aging. Well, people called her Dracula and Frankenstein. Well, six months ago, three separate labs in the country, one at Stanford, at Harvard, and at University of California, San Francisco, repeated it, and it worked. So it turns wow. out there are proteins in young individuals up till age 25 that turn on stem cells. Our stem cells go to sleep at age 25. So what's amazing is the cure for diseases is actually asleep within us. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to potentially wake it up. Wow. I just latch on to some young people, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that was very fascinating. Well, that's why you that had children. Duplicate. Yeah, and that's why I duplicated again, yeah. You're under 25. Give me your blood, Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, the lucky years, too, and staying, staying healthy longer also means preventing disease yeah. and some of the most common diseases. I just did a story on CRISPR, mm -hmm. this gene editing technology. I mean, tell us about the promise that that holds. It's, in a, you know, it's wild, is that we can, with this enzyme now, take one letter of your three billion letter code and change it. So that means if you have inherited a, de a defect in, say, breast cancer or heart disease or something else, we can go in and change that one letter. So now it's happened in China is they actually change the DNA of an embryo. So at the same time, we need to regulate it and do it right. But this has the potential of being transformative. And something as wild and science fiction-like is you can take an organ from an animal and potentially change the DNA to allow it to be used in a human for transplants. These are really the How lucky years. How far off are they? This is happening now. I mean, so these... Take an animal's organ and transplant it That you will, we're starting to design pigs right, right. to have human uh, uh, proteins on their surface. And so using that for kidney plants, transplants over the next decade will happen. Well, it's already happening, though, with, with heart valves. Oh, no question. We use them for heart right. valves, but this is a living, functioning right. organ where half valve is a piece of tissue. Right. I thought it was interesting you said there is no, never any right answers in health. There are always several right answers, never just one. And it's based on your value system. Yeah. And this was a maturation for me where I said, this is the right way yeah. and the wrong way. And I really learned that it's the right way for you as an individual. And we all shouldn't do everything the same. And that's why personalized medicine is going to be fantastic based on data. But value system is a key part of making decisions. Mm -hmm. You also say there's a brave new world in fertility coming. What yeah. is that? It's, you know, so there's, there, you inherit DNA from your mother and your father. And those are your chromosomes. But you also inherit DNA in your mitochondria from your mother. Well, women with mitochondrial disorders historically couldn't have children. Well, there was a doctor in New Jersey who was actually taking out their nucleus and putting that into a donor's egg. So the child had three parents. Well, you can now do that for a 40 or 50 year old woman mm -hmm. and allow them to give birth. And so really changing the playing field to equalize it. This is a different world. People are giving birth later and later, and this is an empowering technology that will be transformative. The and mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, as oh, I remember. Right, you remember that. Class. And if you live near the airport, your chances of heart disease are, are, are greater. Yeah, this that is surprised a, This me. is a, you know, an exciting finding, is that if you do concentric circles around an airport, heart disease risk goes up. Why? So we need quiet. Oh. And so yeah. if you live in the city or elsewhere, put a little foam in your ears when you sleep. You know, I've got a 150-pound dog that snores. So I sleep with earplugs every right. night. Your brain needs that quiet. Right. Thank you, Dr. Aiden. It's great Thank to see you. you. Always this good is to a see very you. important book. Yes, the lucky years.
<laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, as opposed to the yucky years. <laughs> lucky years is a better title. It goes on sale today, by the way. Dr. David Angus is getting ready to answer questions right now on our Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash CBS This Morning. And tomorrow, we'll continue our look at the lucky years with a panel on the advances in preventing and treating cancer. So you're coming back two days in a row. Lucky yes. us. Oh, wow. I am lucky, too. All, All right. right. Thanks.